Hi, this is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center, and today we want to show you a 2012 Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000. This one is the first one we've gotten in the uh, candy green, green metallic. So uh, we want to do a video on it, show you that. Uh, I love the green. Uh, so far, all the ones we've gotten have been black, but uh, and the green's uh, different. But uh, anyway, I dig it. You know, if uh, if you're seeing this video, you've maybe been doing a lot of a lot of looking at the Wildcats, uh, 1,000cc V-twin, exoskeleton chassis. The big deal with these is the suspension. They have fantastic suspension on them. 18 inches of rear suspension travel, 17 inches of front suspension travel, and it has these Walker Evans racing shocks. And the rear shocks here are a dual spring. Uh, so there's a spring here, uh, and then there's a spring here on the bottom. I believe the top spring here will adjust your ride height. So with this nut here, and then you have another adjustment here for your spring tension, uh, the actual adjustment on the shock. And then you have another adjustment here for dampening soft and hard. You can turn that. But a built of aluminum shock, made in the USA by Walker Evans Racing. Uh, just incredible, incredible suspension. It has a five link rear suspension. So you've got a link, a link, a link, link, and a link. So five links plus your big heavy duty axle there. Disc brakes in the back, stainless braided brake lines. It has the LED tail lights and brake lights on the back. A nice storage compartment here on the back. This will hold a good size cooler. It's rated at 300 pounds in the back. One of the cool things also about the Wildcats is the radiators are right up here and it has two fans on it and so this is the inlet comes in from under here and then the exhaust comes out here as far as the air flow through the radiators. But the nice thing with them being in the back is uh, you don't get a lot of heat uh, up in the in the passenger compartment so uh, that's nice. Uh, the Arctic Cat Wildcat also uh, they did the ceramic coated exhaust uh, so there's no need for heat shields, uh, reduces the amount of heat they put off, and also this, the ceramic coating won't rust, uh, chip, flake, very durable coating, going to look nice for a long time. Uh, it has a 50 millimeter throttle body, it's a 1000 cc V-twin, see if we can give it a minute and maybe brighten up, there we go, but a 50 millimeter throttle body on it. Has a peak torque limiter in the rear end, uh, which just means if you get any kind of a shock or anything to the wheels, it's going to allow a slip on that peak amount of torque. Uh, so rather than break something in the rear end, it's got a, a slip built into it, which is a good thing. Large, large radiator. There's your radiator with your fans right there. Shock on this side. You can see that exoskeleton frame. You can see the frame there just all the way around there has the suicide opening doors doors open just like that one button really easy to open the doors really nice high back seats with the contrast white stitching on them the Arctic cat cat uh, embroidered on the top stitched on the top composite full board so you don't rub paint off anything uh, sports style steering wheel these have uh, low, high, neutral, reverse, and park. It has a park position, so instead of a uh, 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 parking brake, you can just put it in park. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, selectable two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and lock. So right here, we'll uh, four-wheel drive, and then push it again, and that will lock it. Uh, drink holders, 12-volt power outlet. has a locking glove box, so if you're out... Uh, one of the parks or something, you can uh, lock the glove box. You've got cameras and stuff in there. It's got a tilt steering wheel. And uh, right here is a lever, and that'll tilt the, the steering wheel. Uh, headlight switch is here. Uh, off, low beam, and high beam. And this has LED headlights on the front. Uh, so uh, really bright, low current draw. There's your pedals, accelerator, and your throttle. Uh, accelerator and your brake, excuse me. Very nice. Let's crank it up for you. Uh, so you've got a uh, speedometer here, so this is speed, and then uh, 
Uh, you also have speed there. Now let's, yeah. This is a tachometer, excuse me. Your speed is here. And then uh, you have a trip meter, trip meter two. Uh, this is our meter, so this one's showing 0.2 hours. And then clock, and then odometer. And it tells you what gear you're in. And it's got a fuel gauge across the bottom. But a real nice sound to that V-twin motor. I'm going to show you these LED headlights with them turned on. Very, very bright LED headlights. Again, you've got the Walker Evans racing shocks here on the front. Here, the adjustable with the remote reservoirs. There's your master cylinder, voltage regulator, there's an oil cooler up under here. These do have power steering, which is nice. A lot of these units on the market do not have power steering. This one has power steering. It's very easy to drive. Very compact unit. Uh, there's your front differential. Disc brakes in the front. It's got the 14-inch alloy wheels with the Duro 26-inch tall tires. Got our lights on now, as you can kind of see those rear LED tail lights. Well, there you have it. So far, these have done really well. Uh, they're uh, uh, doing really well, performing really well. The sales have been good on them, and uh, we're real excited about it. It's just been a really good unit for Arctic Cat and for us as a dealer. So, there you have it. It's 2012 Arctic Cat Wildcat in the candy green. We are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston in Lamarck, Texas. Our website is MainlandCycleCenter.com. Our phone number is 409-948-4969. We would just love it if you'd give us a call, shoot us an email, leave us a comment, come by and see us. Just let us know how we can help. Thanks for watching.